A voice that has pure sound and nothing hindering the sound in general is a rich and a good textures voice. But if a voice has lots of breath, if lots of tension in any form is coming in the way of the voice, if the bass in the voice is not appropriate, so that voice in general is a weak voice. Since most of our professional and social interactions have moved online, it only makes sense to focus on resources that matter the most. And voice, my friends, has never mattered as much as it matters in times of today. For years I have done uh, this voice work uh, through coaching and in corporate training. This is for the first time that I have brought these techniques out on YouTube. These are all the techniques that I have learned from masters, from people who are really credible. And in the next few videos, you and I together are going to do some crazy vocal work to ensure that whatever voice you had always desired to get, you get that by the end of these few videos. Voice does not only have to be audible, it also has to reach your audience. So the kindest thing you can do for your executive presence is to sound what you are feeling from within. A lot of times why we miss making the mark is because we say something but we do not sound like that person who is saying that. If that's happened to you, continue watching this video. We all have something called a vocal dashboard. It's like a music system in the car. Lots of buttons to play around with to get the right impact and effect the right kind of bass, the right kind of theme and mood that you want appropriate to the occasion. And guess what? All of us have the same vocal dashboard with the same buttons. It's just that some of us know how to use the buttons appropriately, while some of us don't really make use of all the features that our voice has. So at the core, the fulcrum of our vocal dashboard is our breath. Breathing is essential to voice. It's like it's the food for your vocal cords. Your vocal cords don't really need actual food. Air is the food for your vocal cords. So better the quality of the air that passes in and out of the vocal cords, better are going to be the sounds through your vocal cords and that is going to ultimately impact the quality of your voice which gets me to the next few features that are available in our vocal dashboard. So in this video um, I am mostly going to be talking about breath work but I want to introduce all the buttons of vocal dashboard. The first tool in our dashboard is called quality or the texture of our voice and it is also known as timbre of the voice. They all really mean the same things. I am itching to already talk about it but I am just going to restrict myself and say that timbre or texture is the basic quality of your voice. Let's say in a lay person's language how rich or how poor or weak is somebody's voice. The other feature that's in our dashboard is also known as tone slash pitch slash expression slash emotion yes this magnificent feature in the voice essentially is the expression tool whether you are happy or sad or aggressive or depressed or furious or assertive in a professional, social, personal, whichever situation, this tool, the tone, helps you express that emotion to others and this is the tool that makes you sound real. It is the contrast in this tool that keeps the audience alive. Next button is the volume button. It is pretty simple. There are pretty much two features. You can really go up in your decibel or really go low and whisper. 
So that's volume for you. Now volume really as a button is underestimated. It seems very simple, but uh, a lot of times the volume has to be appropriate to the size of the room. And since these days we are mostly online, it has to be appropriate to the mic and how close we are to the speaker and how often we are going to speak and which are some of the phrases or the words where the volume must go up a bit and then few where the volume has to go down. The next feature in our vocal dashboard is tempo, also known as rate of speech, which really means how fast you speak or how slow you speak. If anyone has ever asked you not to speak very fast or that a higher rate of speech is not an appropriate rate of speech, that is incomplete information. Because as long as the other people or the audience can interpret what you're saying, it's fine. A lot of languages are spoken in a high rate of speech like French and people are perfectly capable of understanding each other so it's really not about how fast you speak it is about the right kind of pauses and that's the last feature and it's like it's like the clutch in your gearbox of the car it's the again you know after breath it's a fundamental feature pause or mute and the other important thing about coming back to tempo is that there has to be contrast there has to be a variation so not everybody always only speaks fast or not everybody always only speaks slow there are variations in a speech when somebody's speaking and that's what our focus should be so as i said in this video i'm going to start with breath because that's really the food for voice and hopefully you're going to keep doing the breath work for every other video that I'm going to upload. I don't know if you've come across this statement that we actually use only one sixth of our lung capacity. So essentially, we breathe shallow most part of our day. I don't know the truth behind the numbers, but I have a feeling a lot of this is true because I know for most part of the day, I don't even consciously breathe. I don't even know that I'm breathing because I'm so engrossed in whatever stuff I'm doing. So that's exactly what I want us to change from today onward because breathing is food for our voice and food is supposed to be consciously eaten not aimlessly or shallow eaten that's exactly what we're going to do for our voice we're going to begin getting more aware and conscious about our breathing if you're sitting back and thinking hey I know this this is done in meditation this is done in yoga focus on your breath yes that's true because breathing gets our focus back. And also in voice, when we consciously start breathing, we begin to recognize our patterns. So when we are with our family and interacting with them, we have a certain kind of breathing. When we are sitting in a meeting and just a listener, we have a certain kind of breathing. When we are suddenly asked to speak in a meeting, in a conference call these days, our breathing suddenly changes. So beginning to get aware of changes in our breathing pattern is the first thing that you want to understand about voice. And then you immediately want to focus on how you breathe. So uh, I want you to take a thumb and place it right under your chest till the time you find a cavity. It's a lining right under our chest. And that's from, and I'm sure you know this, and this is the place from where we actually breathe. And if you see babies breathe, babies actually breathe from the diaphragm. So let's do some diaphragmatic conscious breathing. So I want you to place your thumb on uh, the cavity. We are going to deep breathe in. And as we deep breathe in, our stomach should be coming out. Let's start. Inflate your stomach, let it go as out as it can. Really, let's not focus on how good or bad we are looking right now. And breathe out. And as we breathe out, the stomach really goes in. Squeeze your stomach in till the time you are comfortable. So if you see a baby breathe, the stomach literally goes up and down. Up and down. That's called diaphragmatic breathing. The beauty is that breathing adds life not only to the vocal cords but also to our body. So let's see if we can uh, open up our body by breathing in our ribcage and the sides and the back. So I want you to take your right arm, turn a bit, slightly turn a bit, place your hand on your ribcage. These are actually all muscles, they flex, they expand and contract. So I want you to breathe and as you breathe in, this ribcage should be going out 
and as you breathe out this should be going in so your body should actually be moving in and out and you can also do this on the opposite side the other thing you can do is you breathe in and you take both your hands up do it with me and you breathe out and you go down and touch your toes as comfortably as you can now all these breathing exercises and the breath work is supposed to be done before an interaction so you really can't be right getting into a meeting and just flexing your muscles breathing diaphragmatically that's not what you do so when this becomes a conscious habit in most part of your day that's when you naturally begin to breathe and understand the variations in your breathing pattern so in a setup where you are supposed to pump up and speak up you will consciously be aware and you will know how to swiftly turn from a shallow breathing pattern to a more dynamic breathing pattern the other thing that conscious breathing can do is help us stretch our breath capacity so a lot of people when i hear them talk they lose out their breath pretty fast so when they start talking they speak so much and so many things they want to say that they have to force themselves to stop pause for a second and then move on it's very exhausting for the listener to hear a person who has to force themselves to stop and breathe and then move on so an exercise to stretch your breathing is by taking any sound that you want some people pick om some people pick sa some people pick do re mi whatever you want to pick take a sound deep breathe in deep breathe in as much as you can fill all your lungs with as much air and speak out the sound till the time it's possible for you sa okay i was really getting exhausted by the end so i had to stop you slowly realize that after doing this exercise multiple times your breath capacity will increase it prepares or preps us for even the most exhausting situations where we are continuously speaking and because our lungs are filled with so much air we don't have to fight for breath and we can speak for longer hours without being exhausted so i want you to please start the practice of breath and also i hope this video has given you enough understanding of what buttons are in our vocal dashboard because as i said in the next few videos i'm going to take you through the real practical most effective exercises for each and every button and by the end of it all you will see magic in your voice and i'm going to expect comments from each one of you who's watching this video and the next few videos on your progress i want to know how far you've come what kind of techniques you adopted which ones were more effective for you which ones weren't thank you so much for watching take care